Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Saturday afternoon. It's been a long week, guys. Long week, but we managed to pull through. How's everybody doing on this Saturday afternoon? Hi guys, it's quite humid here in Durban, so uh, yeah, hi everybody, Nasdaq 430 killed, yeah, so I guess that's the, that's a famous thing, Darren Dix, Bro, hope you're doing well. It's been a long time. Hope you're doing well. I know you're killing it. And check out the story. So I know you're well, bro. God's grace. How's everybody doing? What is the minimum deposit? for NASDAQ in USD, USD. I would say guys, start at least with $100. So fund with $100 and more. Durban weather, yeah, it's really hot today. It's really, really hot. And there's uh, actually so many people at the beach and stuff like that. Uh, but how's everybody doing? Live trading session, please. Uh, yeah, we could consider it. We could consider it for 30 kil. Just hearing to waiting to hear some more some words. How's everybody? Saturday. Guys uh, interesting thing. I haven't been to the beach in almost a year. Like even before just when the pandemic started, until now I haven't been to the beach, like haven't stepped foot in the water or in the sand or anything of like that interesting but yeah guys just want to share a few things today and uh, these are things that uh, I pick up uh, from people uh, around me uh, these are things uh, that other traders often ask and uh, these are things where I like to share my input uh, on it and uh, just give my thoughts on certain things and I think today the thing that I want to touch on is fear where's the M4? the M4 is parked in the garage how old were you when you started trading? I was actually 19, 20 so I was around 20 years old when I started trading So, guys, the thing that I want to talk about today is fear, okay? How to overcome fear, the types of fear, and uh, how do you know uh, that you have fear? Now, subconsciously, we all are fearful of something, okay? Uh, we are all are fearful of something, subconsciously. So for myself, I know that I, I am fearful of heights, okay? So for example, when, if I'm in a, in a high building or I'm, I'm climbing stairs or whatever it is, I have that subconscious fear of, uh, of heights, right? That's, that's my subconscious fear. Uh, but, but what i what i've noticed is that different people also have different types of fear okay so the fear that i want to talk about is actually trading fear okay and this is what it is now a lot of people when they take trades okay even before they take a trade you see just hold on one second sorry about that so
a lot of people they have trading fear right and this trading fear comes into play when you take a trade but it's actually in there even before you take the trade okay now if you the person that takes a trade and is fearful even before you take the trade so if you the person that takes a trade and even before you take the trade you're thinking about how much you could possibly lose or how much I could possibly blow or whatever it is if you the person who does that you before you even take the trade you are automatically 5 or 10 steps behind a person who is taking the trade without any fear okay does that make sense so i'm trying to turn off uh um comments okay turn off all commenting for now okay perfect so guys this is what i'm trying to say you get two types of traders okay get a trader that when they go in they are gutsy they are not afraid of or they do not have fear when they click a buy or sell button okay then you get another trader who even before they execute that buy or sell button you find that they are anxious they are biting their fingernails uh, they are scared they are fearful now if you the trader who is fearful even before you take the trade you are automatically 10 steps or 5 steps behind the person who is taking the trade without fear so that's my point that i'm trying to make firstly guys you see the thing about trading uh, i've been looking at different traders over the past uh, weeks especially in the new year I've, i've been looking at certain things that i'm seeing there are certain traders who will take a trade another trader will take the same trade but one trader closes in profit the other trader closes in loss the problem here is not the trade the problem here is the mindset and the mindset of fear is actually what holds you back and the mindset of not having fear is actually what propels you forward so the biggest problem that traders have to take it a step further the biggest problem that most of us have is fear and the biggest or the the most uh, hectic fear that one could have is a fear of losing money you see if you have the fear of heights it's not going to affect your ability to make money if you got the fear of uh, of uh, of dogs or cats it's not going to affect your ability to make money if you got the fear of of a of whatever it could be it 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 won't affect your ability to make money but immediately when fear comes into the sphere of you making money so again the immediately fear comes into the sphere of you making money so that means fear comes in the ability and and tempers with the your ability to make money that's when you are behind someone who is in the same environment as you so here again you get two businessmen okay one businessman will take the deal and and give his best in it because he has no fear it's do or die another businessman will reject that deal which could, which could po- possibly lead to his success and breakthrough in business because he has a fear of it not success not 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 succeeding he has a fear of losing money you know the, the one of the biggest reasons why people don't succeed in business is because of fear it's because you get one person who is a risk taker and they are able to take the risk against all odds and get into the business and they'll succeed but you'll get another person who will say okay 
I'm going to take this loan to start this business. But what if this goes wrong? What if that goes wrong? What if this work doesn't work out? What if my staff leave me? What if my staff don't show up to work? They are working with the what if sector. Now the what if is another reason coupled with fear why traders fail, why businessmen fail, why young entrepreneurs fail. It's the what if mentality because whenever you want to get into something, whenever you want to take into a trade, all you're thinking about is the what if. You're not thinking about the, the, the 1% of success and that is all you need to succeed. You see, when I take a trade, when I get into a business deal, when I approach a situation, if there's 99% of what ifs there, I don't care about that. I care about that 1% of success that could happen. And that is all I need to go into the trade, go into the business decision and succeed in it. And that is why you would find, guys, that sometimes this is the defining factor between different traders. Two traders can take the same trade. One trader will close in loss, the other trader will close in profit. And I've seen this time and time again, weeks and week in and week out, I've seen this happen. I've seen this happen in and out. And I'm like, I'm looking to myself and thinking to myself, I've been writing down a whole lot of uh, notes. I've been actually studying certain traders and uh, certain people. And I'm seeing, okay, this person is taking the trade, one trade. The other person is taking the same trade. But one person gets out in profit, the other person gets out in loss. Psychologically, you're fearful of your current situation and of risking money. The moment fear comes into the sphere of making money, that is when you are at a setback. Whereas you get another person who has no fear. That person might be in the same financial situation or distress as you are. That person might be in the same scenario as you are. But that person does not have fear. Now, what evokes fear in a person's life and how can we eliminate this? I found in, in my years of trading and, and in doing different things, one of the biggest evoker of fear or, or, or the thing that aspect that evokes fear is the people around you. Now these people are friends, these people are acquaintances, these people are partners, these people are family members, Whatever it is. You see, whenever you want to do something, you can be so amped to do it. You're going to say, okay, on Monday morning, I'm going to fund my account with a hundred dollars or a thousand rand. I'm going to, I'm going to go into the NASDAQ. I'm going to try to make money. And then you're excited, you're amped about it. I'm speaking from experience because this is what used to happen to me. So you'll tell your one friend, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fund with $100 on Sunday night. Monday morning, I'm going to take a trade. Monday 4.30, I'm going to take a trade. I'm going to make money. And then this person just whispers in your ear and, and tells you. Uh, and then what if you lose that money? That, that is what that person says. You see what that person is doing? That person is actually evoking fear. Evoking fear. That is the first that is the first thing that I've seen happen to a lot of people and this is the reason why they do not succeed. Guys, one thing about me is that if you look at it, I can count the number of friends that I have in a single hand. Don't even need 10 fingers. In 5 fingers, uh, I don't even have 5 close friends. You'll see me from Monday to Thursday or Friday or from Monday to Friday. I try as much as isolate myself from everyone. So you won't see me go out a lot. lot. I'll go out on the weekends. I'll do whatever I want. I have a good time. But from Monday to Friday, you see me isolating myself and focusing on the charts. 
Reason being is, if I'm surrounded by somebody and I want to take a trade or I want to do something and that person says, what if this thing, there's a possibility of this thing going the other way or selling instead of buying or buying instead of selling. Immediately, subconsciously, that person is evoking fear within me. What I'm trying to say to you, if you got people like that in your life, you need to re-examine your, your life. I'm not telling to you and I'm not saying to you cut out these people. All I'm saying to you is there are times where you need to isolate yourself from these people to make important decisions. When you're making these important decisions, be it trading decisions, be it decisions in business, be it entrepreneurial decisions, entrepreneurship, getting into business, starting a business, whatever it could be. Sometimes these decisions are not helped by a person who is going to instill fear in you. So what I'm saying to you guys, the first thing are the people around you. Watch the people around you. Now, this is it. Some people intentionally evoke fear in your life because they do not want you to succeed. Especially in trading. You'll show a person, you'll show them, you'll show them a profile and you'll show them, hey, look at how much this person is making. Look at the profits they're taking and then they'll tell you, yeah, what about the losses they're taking? If you're going to get into trading, you're also going to take losses. You're also going to lose money. You'll find out that what that person is actually doing, that person doesn't want you to success. It's, it falls under jealousy. It's a, it's a very low level of jealousy that could soon become a very, level high, a, a very high level of jealousy. So you need to watch the people around you guys because this is what they do. They do not want you to do something that could possibly lead to your success. So what they want you to do, they, they want to instill fear. They want to evoke fear in you. And this is what you need to watch out for. And I'm talking from experience. This is not thumb sucking from YouTube. This is not thumb sucking from the internet. This is not that. This is talking from experience. The reason why most people fail is not because your trading strategy is bad. It's not because you're a bad trader. It's not nothing of that. It's because of the people around you. If you find that you're in a situation where there's constantly somebody or someone around you who is instilling fear, that person could either be doing it intentionally or unintentionally, which means that person could be instilling fear in you, but subconsciously it's still going to affect you negatively. That person could also be instilling fear to, in you to hold you back from your success. You look at all of the successful people around the world. You look at Elon Musk. You look at all of the successful traders. Successful entrepreneurs around the world. They don't have any fear in them. I don't have any fear in me. I don't have fear of taking a trade. Because even if I fail, you need to have the mindset of success and not fear. You need to have the mindset of faith. What is the mindset of faith? The mindset of faith is this. Even if I fail, I will pick myself up. I will dust off whatever debris I have on me and I will try again. This is the mindset that you need to have. Not the mindset of fear, but have the mindset of faith. This faith is built within you where you believe in yourself. So, this is what I want to do. I want to turn on the commenting. And I want to share this. Fear, or oh, I want to share this. I want you to comment this. I want you to comment faith. Everybody just put a comment here right now. Faith, 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 faith. There is no fear, there is only faith. There is no fear, there is only faith. You see, if we have faith, we can eliminate fear. The first thing is, watch the people around you guys. A lot of people around you don't want you to succeed, so they instill fear. But here, I, I, I am here to 
to, to instill and to propel you in the direction of faith. There is no fear, there is only faith. There is only faith. This is things, guys, that I've, I've picked out and picked up in my time of trading. I've been six years in the market and uh, I've picked up a lot of things. And one of the biggest contributors to why traders fail, why businessmen fail, why entrepreneurs fail, why business plans fail, is because there is somebody whispering in your ear. What if it doesn't work? Don't worry about the 99% of it not working. But worry about the 1% of success. It only takes 1% of success and having 1% of faith. Faith as small as a mustard seed. If you look at a mustard seed, you will see how tiny and minute it has. But when it starts to germinate, when faith comes into being, what it can turn into. And guys, the first thing that I want to share with you and leave with you Watch the people around you. If you've got these people, I'm not saying watch them out. I'm saying there are times where you need to isolate. That is why from Monday to Friday again, even Monday to Thursday, you will see me isolating myself. I'm at home. I'm relaxing. I'm focusing on the charts because I know that I need to be in a sphere where I have faith built up within me so that I can succeed. We are not here to talk about signals, guys. We are not here to talk about who is the best trader. I don't care who is the best trader in South Africa or around the world. Don't care who is the richest person or who is the poorest person. All I'm here to say is we eliminate, we eliminate fear with success. We eliminate fear with faith. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Guys, Number two that I want to share very quickly, I don't want to be long, is guys, a lot of the time, we, we get despondent, we feel sad, because you see other people your age doing things, doing big things, driving big cars, living in big houses. You see a lot of people doing these things. When I was at the age of 21, okay, now, now I'm 25, so I'm talking about four years or five years ago. When I was at the age of 21, I was moving in my city golf, my 1.4, my 1.6i velocity. That's what I was moving in. There were other guys who were 21 as well, but they were driving GTIs, they were driving golf 7Rs. They were driving big cars. They weren't even trading. No, they weren't traders. But they were driving all these big, big cars coming past. You know when these guys come here, they come. When you're driving your city golf, your 1.6i, these guys come. These guys come. And then what they do is, they come past you and they make sounds with their car. They want to flash their cars. They want to do these things. Now, you see that what a lot of us do is we equate ourselves. When I was 21 years old, I was equating to myself to other 21 year old people. And now I was seeing this guy is driving a GTI. This guy is driving a Golf 7R. Look at me. What will, what will be of me? That's what I was thinking. And what happens is we become despondent to the point where we don't even want to follow our dreams. We don't even want to start our business. We don't even want to do anything. But what you need to look at is your situation. Because sometimes your situation might be different from that person's situation. Now, that person probably got their car because they worked hard. Yes, at 21. That person probably got hired, uh, got the car because their parents bought it for them. And I don't discriminate. If your parents 
and rich and they can buy you those things it's good for you well done to them well done to you but my point here is at that time of me being 21 i was very despondent because i'll see these guys just flashing their things just using nice clothes and yeah i am moving in my city god i used to see these things what i want to tell you today guys if you are focusing on all of the nice things that other people have you are never going to be successful because that was one of my biggest reasons of failure and the reason why it took me 6 years to succeed in this industry and in forex and in trading and whatever it is it could have taken me 3 years it could have taken me 2 years it could maybe even taken me 1 year that means now I have been on a higher level than I am in right now but my biggest thing is i was looking at all of the things that other people are driving and using instead of focusing on myself so the thing that i want to leave to you the biggest thing here stop focusing on what j money is doing and how much of j money how much money j money is making stop focusing on 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 the cars and the houses and whatever it is stop focusing on those things focus on yourself focus on your dreams focus on your goals focus on what you need to do be trading be business be getting your degree be finishing school be finding a job focus on your things don't equate yourself to another person your age because that's when you will get demoralized and that's what happens to a lot of people don't equate yourself to that don't 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 equate yourself to being that type of person be the person that basically writes down the goals says this is a book that i have is my book it's not chair this is my book this is the goals this is what to what i want to achieve and this is it don't strive to be like somebody else strive to be the best version of yourself so whoever you are whatever you're doing strive to be the best and give your all in what you are doing strive to be the best version of yourself and what you're doing don't look at other people guys when you look at other people you're going to get demoralized because you're going to say this person is 25 now i'm 25 look at what i'm doing look at what this person is doing you don't know the circumstances guys it took me 6 years to get here hard hard work sweat and tears another person at 25 might have rich parents another person at 25 must have re- inherited a lot of money another person at 25 must have of in- of inherited his father's or mother's multi million rand business don't equate yourself to that person focus on you focus on your goals focus on what you need to do so that you could succeed and guys what i found is that when i was able to focus on myself on my goals on my ambitions on my aims and what i wanted to achieve that is when i found my breakthrough in success and unfortunately for me in the earlier years of my trading career there was nobody to tell me this there was nobody to tell me josh don't focus on what other people are doing don't focus on that boy who's driving the golf 7r and he's coming past you and making going past you and making you feel small don't focus on all of those things you are still a champion you are champion in your own sphere you are champion in what you are doing no matter your business no matter your trading style no matter who you are no matter where you come from you are a champion that is what i want to want you to take from today guys in this short session write down your goals focus on your goals have faith on it pray upon it and work hard at it and you will see that you will succeed stop focusing on what everybody else has it's nice for motivation it's nice to be motivated uh um from people and it's nice to receive motivation from people who have and achieve nice things but at the same time don't let this have a negative impact on you where it starts 
to demoralize you. You see, there are things, there is something that can motivate you, but it, there is the same thing that can demoralize you. And if you find that these things are now demoralizing you and demotivating you instead of motivating you, you need to focus on yourself instead of focusing on these things, whatever it may be. But if you find that there is a certain thing or they are looking, uh, they're looking at certain things or feeding yourself or exposing yourself to certain things motivate you, then keep doing it. But if you find that all it does is it makes you overthink, it makes you question yourself, it puts you in a place of depression, then that is not good for you. Because instead of taking you forward, all that will do, whatever that thing is, it will, or that person is, that person will take you, or bring you, or push you backwards. So guys, find what motivates you, and keep at it, be diligent to it, and cut out or phase yourself of what will demotivate you. Again, surround yourself with good people, and try and fade away people who instill fear. Focus on yourself, focus on your goals, focus on your ambitions, focus on you. Don't equate yourself to another person your age. Because as I said, their circumstances and their work rate or whatever it may be, might be different from yours. All you need to do Focus on yourself, put in that hard work, find that consistency and you will find that it will reward you in the days to come. So guys, I just want to leave this with you. I'm going to end now. Have a blessed Saturday afternoon. I hope some of you were empowered by this and just push on for the week ahead. Let this be the fuel to push you on and propel you for the week ahead and the and the and the weeks ahead and the month ahead and the year ahead. So stay safe, stay blessed, J Money, I'm out.